He provoked him again. This is prophetic Tilda here. You will strike gold in that dry land that the thought they pushed you to. The enemy celebrated early thinking that they are put you in a place where they, there can be no harvest. There can be no production. There can be nothing good coming out of you. They intentionally set you up, right? But even if you are in a situation like Abraham was, you know when he had to choose the land with Lot, his nephew, even though Lot was much younger, you know, Lot chose the fertile land. But he didn't know that he was going to, that was going to make him move to a place where wicked people live. That was Sodom. That was not a good place. But he felt like he should take the fertile land so that his animals could feed. And Abraham took the land that was less fertile. And God said, I will bless your descendants and they will be like the, the dust. Any man that can count dust will be able to count them. And the Lord blessed Abraham because of his humility. Even though he was pushed to the place where it looked like he was not going to have any gain. The Lord is giving you plenty. Even in that wilderness that your enemies think that you are. Even in that place that they pushed you to. If they had known, <laughs> they would have been wiser. They would have they would have considered you. And maybe they would have benefited from your blessings. I'll see you guys next time.